Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Excel 2016 and how to enter in formulas using just your keyboard. This is a great shortcut because a lot of times you don't want your hands moving from your keyboard to your mouse back and forth throughout. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you see here is an Excel spreadsheet. It uh, is for a clothing store. It has a few different departments and uh, we're going to be analyzing the sales here. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a couple formulas and I'm going to type them using just the keyboard, never using the mouse at all. And I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so the first one here, I'm going to calculate the sales for 2018. The cells that I'm interested in are these ones right here, B5 to B8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in an equal sign to start the formula. And then for addition, I'm going to type in SUM for sum. All right, now, as soon as I type in SUM, notice that down here, sum is in blue. If sum is in blue, I could press tab on my keyboard to activate that formula or that function. And so what I could do now is I see that once I hit tab, it's capitalized and it opens the parentheses, letting me know that the function is now ready to be typed in. So using my keyboard, I could type in B5 and then a colon B8 or yes, B8. So once I have that written out, I could press tab or enter to finalize that figure right there. Once I have that formula written correctly one time, I could click on that formula and then drag the formula using the autofill handle in the bottom right, right there with the black plus sign and move that over there. And that's one way to write a formula using your keyboard. I'm gonna show you another way right now. I'm gonna now find the average of these sales. So I go right here and I'm gonna click the equal sign on my keyboard and now for the average, the formula for average is actually just average. So I start to type average. This time I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So as I start to type average, I just type A-V-E-R. And notice that average is in blue down here, okay? Now again, without clicking on average or anything like that, as long as it's in blue, I don't even have to type in the whole word. A-V-E-R is fine because again, it's in blue. So I press tab and it will capitalize the word average. It added in the A-G-E at the end and it opened my parentheses. Now this time I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Instead of typing in the letters, I'm gonna use the arrow keys to go up initially to B5 and then hold down shift and press the down arrow three times to get me to B8. Once I get there, I press tab or enter and it automatically calculates the average of the sales for 2018. Now for 2019, 20, and 21, we could click right there on 2018, go to the bottom right where the green square is till I see the black plus sign. And then I could use that autofill handle to move the formula over through column E. All right, so that's another way to do it. Now I'm gonna show you another way to write a uh, function on your keyboard, this time for the highest. Okay, so the highest number out of these four here. So I'm gonna start again with an equal sign and this time I'm going to type in M-A-X. All right, now I typed in M-A-X. Now this time I'm not going to press tab or anything. This time I'm just going to open the parentheses. That does the exact same thing as pressing tab as long as the full word is written. So I open the parentheses and now I can use the, uh, the number pad, or sorry, the uh, arrow, arrows up to go up to B5 and then hold down shift again, go down to B8. I can close the parentheses if I want to, but again, as you saw in earlier directions, it's not necessary as long as the function is fully written. So I press tab or enter, and now that one is done. So I use that fill handle in the bottom right to drag it over again. Now I'm gonna show you the last way, and this way we will be calculating the lowest or the minimum. So what I'm going to do is click right here, and I'm gonna type in an equal sign. Okay, this time I'm going to start to type M-I, and notice after I, it's on M-I-D right here for mid, okay? Now, if I want to, I could use the directional arrows to choose the one that I want. So in this case, I'm going to choose M-I-N right here. And again, what do we press to move ahead with that function or to activate it? We press tab. I press tab right there, as long as min was in blue, that's how it's done. So this time I'm going to press the directional arrows to go up to B8, and now I can press down shift and actually go up to B5, and it automatically switches the two numbers. And so I see B5 to B8 is now done. I can press tab 
to finalize that formula. So right there, I go ahead and use the autofill in the bottom right, and we've calculated four different uh, functions right there, and we've calculated all of these figures using the keyboard. I did not click once uh, besides clicking on the actual cell, but it should be noted that I could have done that just by moving around with the directional arrows. So I could have done this all without clicking. So there we go. That's how it's done. That's a good trick for you to uh, improve your speed on Excel because sometimes it takes a long time to keep moving your hand back and forth from the keyboard to the mouse. So it is good to use that uh, as a way to just use the keyboard. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will check out another video real soon. Thanks.